Who said it was easy work? Who said it was easy work? Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy work? Somebody must do it, so I gotta do it. Who said it was easy work? Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Tech, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. I'm on my way to get a good workout in. You know what I'm saying? I ate pretty good for breakfast, man. I really don't eat breakfast like that, you know? Actually, I don't eat breakfast at all. So, you know, with it being my girl's birthday, I decided, I decided for her to go eat breakfast this morning with her. So, you know what I mean? Now I feel like working it out. I feel good, but, you know... Now it's time to get that work in, you know what I mean? It's time to put it in. I got to go get my money. And if you got time today, go get your money. You know what GYM stand for? Get your money. Go to the gym and get your money, man. But real quick, though, before you do that, before you do that, real fast, though, listen. I know this, right? When you own retention, this is what you may as well say to yourself. And this is what people around you may as well say as well. Say goodbye to the nice guy that shit is over with when you on semen retention now i'm not saying that you turn into some type of asshole and i'm not telling you to not be yourself you know what i mean but i've noticed with myself that i'm not that guy that i used to be you know what i mean I'm not that guy that try to please everyone like I used to. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that that nice guy that used to overextend himself. I'm not that guy no more. I don't overextend myself. You know what I mean? I do things on my time when I feel like doing it. You know what I mean? If it ain't a part of my plan, then guess what? Then, then, I, then I ain't going. You know, it ain't going to work. If it ain't a part of my plan, bruh, and I got shit to do, then guess what? We can't do nothing together because I'm on my shit. You know what I mean? I'm on my time and I'm on my shit. I told y'all before, when you own retention, when you start this shit, you was very careful about your time. You know what I mean? Back when uh, sometimes when I just couldn't say no, that shit is done. I can say no like a MF. I can say no like an MF now, man. Listen, like I said, if it ain't, if it ain't, it's, it's my way, my rules. You know, I value my time more. I value my energy. If it's outside of that, man, listen, it's tough for me to go. It's tough for me to go if it's outside of that, you know? And that's just the way it is. I want y'all to understand that it just be like that when you start something like this, man. Listen, I'm not that person that overthinks shit no more. You know, them nice guys that used to overthink shit, you know, and a, and a lot of the times, right, when you was that person that overthinks shit, a lot of the times you was considering other people's feelings, you know, you was putting other people's feelings before your own. Now I don't overthink shit, man, bruh, listen, I just do. I just do. I don't even care about how anybody else feel. I do what I want to do. I don't overthink no situation. I don't overthink nothing. I just do what I feel like doing and I get shit done. I don't care what anybody think about that shit. I'm not overthinking anything. I'm not about to, I'm not about to sit there and ponder on something. You know, I'm in, I'm 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 quick to jump, you know what I'm saying, I'm quick, I'm quick to do shit that I feel like doing, I'm not gonna consider everybody else like that, you know, I'm not hurting nobody, so it's like, yo, I, I, I'm not about to put you before me, you know, and that's what, you, that's something that just happened when you start valuing yourself and your energy, man, you know, you can say bye to the nice guy, that nice guy ain't here no more, and I don't know if y'all feel it, but man, yo, I've been on my shit lately. You know what I mean? I've been on my thing lately, man. It's just it's just my thing. I just care about what I got going, you know, and my situation, and my circle, and my family. Anything outside of that, bro, man, I really just ain't putting no energy into it. I'm keeping my energy safe, you know, putting it into things like I should, like my family, you know, my girl, my daughter, you know what I mean, my work. I'm putting it into things that's important. So anything outside of that, man, listen, I just, hey, I, I'm just not rocking with it like that, you know? And a lot of the times, that's why I tell y'all, y'all be careful when uh, when you get in this mode, when you do stuff like this, because even though you in your zone and you really not harming nobody, you're going to have people that try to play the victim and acting like you doing something to them. So that's when they want to hate on you. 
That's when they want to call you fake. That's when they want to say you acting different. You know what I mean? When you start caring about yourself, now you acting funny. Ah, he acting funny. I ain't even fucking with him no more. See? That's what happens when you stop putting your energy in everybody else. Now you the crazy one. Now you the one acting funny. Now you the one that's fake. You know what I mean? So you got to look out for that too. Because when you start caring for yourself, the people around you that you was putting energy into that wasn't putting energy into you, they start, they the ones that start acting funny. Them the ones that start to look at you sideways because now this motherfucker, who he think he is, he keep caring about himself and acting like he ain't got no time to hang out or acting like he ain't got time for me. See, you got to watch for that. You know what I mean? And the real problem is, listen, you done said goodbye to the nice guy. That's what happened. And they can't accept it. They can't accept it. You know what I mean? You're not that person that was led by their emotions. You ain't that person that's emotional no more. You know what I mean? A lot of the times when you think emotion, right? You, you, I tell y'all a lot about emotions, but emotions ain't always somebody that's just sitting around whining and crying and doing all that extra shit. When you emotional, sometimes your emotions is, is a little bit too caring. You caring too much. You know what I mean? You caring too much. And then you get led by that. You get led by doing things and being a pushover because you care. You know, that's being led by your emotions. You know what I mean? You starting to feel sorry for somebody. So guess what? They you gon you gonna answer they every call and be there every time they going through something. But the motherfuckers never around when you going through something. So now, now that you on your journey, now that you done started this shit, now that you caring about your energy and keeping it to yourself, now. Now, you're not led by your emotions like that. You could damn near care less about shit that's going on. You don't care. You know, you've been around for motherfuckers and they problems for this long. You was always there. You was always that shoulder to cry on. You was always that dude, man. Uh, you know, every time your boy having a problem with his girl, you was always that nigga pulling up with the bottle. You was always that nigga pulling up with the bag to smoke. No, nah, now you ain't even you ain't even doing none of those things like that. Now that nigga just got to deal with that shit on his own because you got your own shit going. So you ain't led by your emotions no more. You ain't feeling bad for a motherfucker like that, especially the same motherfuckers that be going through the same shit. How many times you gonna keep being there for a motherfucker, but when they there for you? How many times you gonna keep being there for a motherfucker that keep going through the same shit? Sometimes they probably not even going through it like that. They just hitting you up just because you the one that's always coming with something because you always there. Now, it ain't like that no more. Say goodbye to the nice guy. The nice guy can't be that shoulder for you no more. Not even for your own girl. Nigga, I'm in a relationship, man. Listen, some shit my girl just got to deal with, bruh. She got to deal with it. She got to pull up them grown woman draws. She got to pull up them draws and deal with it because I can't be there for you emotionally like that. And I told her, I'm not saying anything to y'all that I didn't say to her. She didn't like it when I told her that. But guess what? She understands it and she just going to deal with it because if you can't deal with it, then I guess you can't deal with me, but it's about me now. No more Mr. Nice Guy for you like I used to be. It ain't about you. I done put you first for too fucking long. Now it's my time. Now it's my time. It be like that. And y'all, uh, yeah, like I told y'all before, man, yeah, she put up a fight. She put up a fight. I had to listen to her cry and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But guess what, man? I stood firm on my words. You got to stand firm on your words, bro. And guess what? She exists and we coexist and we good. I'm not saying that, oh, yeah, like she coexisting, like, oh, she just dealing with a walk around pout. No, she learned to deal with that. You know why? Because she had to. I left her no choice. You know what I mean? And sometimes you just got to leave people no choice. Like, this is me. I'm not saying that I can't be there for you. I'm not saying that I'm, I'm not going to fulfill my obligations as a man and as a father around here. But I can't be there for you emotionally all the time. You going to have to put in that work and learn how to control your own shit. That's where you get it fucked up. And a lot of these women want you to be there for every little thing. And you got to stop that shit. 
Because that shit start to take away your energy. That shit start to fuck with you. And now you can't do the things that you need to do. And that's what happens when you get in these relationships with these women. They think just because you there, you supposed to be there. No. When, when do y'all see me there around my girl all the time? Y'all don't. I'm, I'm, I'm busy as hell. But I'm still there when I need to be. Like I told y'all in the video after I finished my workout, I said, yeah, now I got that out of the way. It's my girl's birthday. We about to chill out. I'm going to make the, at the afternoon just relaxing as I can for it. And I did that. You know what I mean? Cake and everything. Just me, her, and my daughter. And we had a great night. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, man. Just because you put yourself first, that doesn't mean everybody is going to suffer around you. If anything, that helps them, that helps people deal with their own shit. But when you there all the time for every little thing, every time they feel some type of way, every time they going through something and you allow yourself to be led by your emotions and emotionally be there for everybody, you take away from yourself. So when you... Start focusing on yourself, right? And let them people deal with their own shit. Then they become better. They not so much leaning on you all the time. And now everybody happy. She learning to deal with her emotions. I get to handle my business. My daughter is good. And everything all good. That shit will work the same way with your family. That shit will work the same way with your boys out there. Stop. You can't be there. You can't be, allow yourself to, to be overextended. You can't overextend yourself. You know what I mean? You can't be led by your emotions either. So listen, at the end of the day, I'm going to top it off with this. Like I said, when you start this journey, everybody around can say goodbye to the nice guy. That shit is done. It's all about you, how it should be in the first place. Y'all got to stop doing this shit, man. You can't be there for everybody. You take away from yourself. You take away your own energy. So remember that moving forward, all right? And that's my word, man. My name JC and the Sin Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. Who said it was easy work? Who said it was easy work? Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy work? Somebody must do it, so I got to do it. Who said it was easy work?